All right, so you tried that discussion question. The moon is accelerating toward the Earth. Why isn't it getting closer to us? All right, so the reason for this one is we have the acceleration toward the Earth because of gravity, but the velocity of the moon is tangent to the Earth. Assuming circular orbit there on that one. Um, and if the velocity and the acceleration are perpendicular, what that tells me is velocity perpendicular to acceleration, it's only changing direction. Oh my goodness. Let's try that one again. Only changing direction. So it's not gonna get closer or further, it's only gonna change the direction of the velocity, not the magnitude of the component that's pointing toward the Earth. Um, the next example says a professor swings a rubber stopper in a horizontal circle on the end of a string in front of his class. Okay. And then he tells the person in the front of the row that they're going to let it go when it's right in front of their face, right here. Should that person be worried? Um, assuming the professor does what they say and let it go right there, they should be good. If they let it go a little early, that student might have to worry. I wouldn't trust myself to do that one, to tell you the truth. So the reason for this is at that point when the stopper is right in front of the student, the velocity is in this direction, so it would continue on in that direction as soon as we remove the force causing that acceleration to make it go in a circle. Now if we let go a little early over here, it would continue on which is not what would we, want, we would want. So it's if you're trying to spin something and throw it, it's kind of actually tougher than you think because you have a very short window of time to let it go, to make it go in the direction you want. Because if you have let go a little early or a little late, it's going to change its direction drastically, especially if you're trying to hit something far away. There you go.